All right, welcome back to season three of our show. And today it's turkey. We're cutting up country style for you. We're gonna show you how to get this cut up, seasoned up, and fried up. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so today it's turkey. And the first thing we're gonna do is get this turkey cut up. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna just sharpen a knife. Now, a lot of you guys ask me questions about my knives. Now, I use a very cheap knife. I believe this is called a Hamilton. This was at Walmart. I think this was about 12 bucks. This was maybe four years ago. I take them out of the package and I basically just hone them. That means I keep them sharp with this thing right here. I guess this thing was probably about $10. And this is how you would do that. So you would go once, twice, three times, four times, and then the other side. Once, twice, three times, four times. Now, there's no contest about cutting up anything and please be careful with your knives and you know if it takes you 10 minutes more to cut up something be safe and do that so there's no need to show off or anything else like that but if you are going to learn how to do this and do this right when you do do this you'll go one two three until you get faster at it. So that's how you would do that. That would hone your knife. Every time you cut something, just take it. And that's it. And the way I test my knife to see if it's sharp is I take the back of my nail and I just go very, very lightly across it. And if it scrapes my nail, that means I got a, a good, nice, sharp knife. And what I'll do is take a rag and just wipe off any shavings that are on there. And that's it. All right, on to the turkey we go. So let's get this big bird, 14 pounds, over onto the table here. I got a bucket here, and this one's wet. So be very careful when you're cutting wet turkeys. Now the first thing I'll do, like a chicken, I'm gonna turn it this way, and I'll go right down the breast. Come down, and just kind of tap my way through. It's a turkey, so you gotta put some muscle in here a little bit. And I'm through, just like that. So that's my first move. And my second move is I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna half it. So I'm gonna start from here, go down using the weight of the turkey. And then now when I get to this point, I'm just gonna cut, push down, and apply some pressure to that until I get through, like that. And then at the end, I'm gonna cut again. And now you're halved. So I'm gonna put this over to the side now I'm doing the same thing, if you guys saw my fried chicken video, same exact moves. I'm going to go here, in between, tuck my hand in, and just go down, and get that thigh and leg out of there. So I'll go here, I'll move that off to the side, and now I'm going to just take my knife and tap it through. And now that's cut out a little bit more and that's it. So I got that cut out now. I'm gonna put this big piece off to the side, 14 pounds. So take your time with it. And this is the wing. So find the joint and just come down. Very easy. I'm gonna take my knife, just go right down. And now you got your wing out of there. Now here's my breast again, and here's a nice bony piece here from the back. So what I'll do is just twist a little bit, get it nice and snapped. I'll take my knife, come through with it. Get down next to that bone, and I'm just going to just find the joint and go right through. 
and there it is. And there's a nice little back for you. Here's our breast. So you don't want to fry this whole. It's a big breast. So we're going to cut this up. And I'm going to cut this up into three pieces. So the first thing I'll do is just clean off some of this fat. Actually, I'm going to cut it into just two. It's 14 pounds, so don't ever go over more than 14 pounds with a bird, especially for a fryer. This is going to get real tough on you. So as you can see, I'm down through, tap through. Let's get in there again. And then you're right through. And there it is. And that's it. So I'm going to do the other half of this. Now you, you saw how to do all the pieces. I'm just going to do the other half of this and just be very safe about it. And we're going to meet you back here. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we got all that cut up. One thing I forgot to show you guys, I never separated the leg from the thigh. So we're going to just go in here just like that and just cut. Get a good hit in there. And then you're right through. And that's it. All right, we're going to see you back here. Meet you on the table for seasoning. Don't go anywhere. All right, we got our turkey nice and cut up, so we'll show you what to do from here. We've got a little vinegar here. This is apple cider vinegar, black pepper. We got a basic rub here. We got some onion powder, garlic powder, touch of sage, just a little paprika in there, salt. Kosher. Show you how to get this going. Just take a little bit of this and we're just going to start sprinkling it over the turkey. Now this is going to get that skin nice and tender and keep that meat succulent and nice and moist. So always go in with the vinegar and don't put the vinegar back in the bottle after you're touching all of these uh, these items here because uh, it won't be good. So we got that on there and let's just start to get our black pepper on there before we turn this. We're just going to get everything on and turn it and then do the same thing on the other side. So black pepper. You're going to want to go in with a good amount of the black pepper. Now this neck here is not getting fried. This is for a gravy later on. So in with the black pepper. Like I said, a nice good amount of that. We're going to go in with our rub now. And don't go crazy on it. Now the funny part with this is that you're not going to put any flour on here. You're not going to fry it like you fried chicken because if you put flour on here, it's just going to burn up. And let's get our salt on. It doesn't cook well with the flour on at all. And we're going to be frying at about 365 degrees. And we're going in with a deep fry today, because that's how you want to do that. Get a little bit more rub on that piece right there. And just flip over and repeat. Now on the sides that don't have the skin, you don't have to go crazy with the vinegar because there's no skin there. You just want to get it on that skin part and not so much the meat. So any sides that you see any skin, like these legs, just put the vinegar back on there and the, and the wing inside the wing here. But while we're rubbing, it wouldn't hurt just to rub a bowl down anyway with vinegar. Not gonna hurt anything. 
Why not? Now everybody's equal, right? All right, let's go in with more black pepper. Might look like a lot of black pepper, but it's really not for frying. If you were to bake this, it would be quite a bit of pepper. But make sure you got that pepper in there. And if you don't want the pepper, you guys don't have to add it. Just remember, make it yours. This is just my recipe. I'm bringing you the wheel. How you turn it is up to you. The wheel's been invented, so I'm just showing you how to use it. There you go. Like any other recipe, make it yours. Make up your own rubs, your spices. Be unique, and be different, and have a different flavor on your table than anybody else has. That's always a good thing. I'm gonna get all my sides and just get it seasoned well. And we're just gonna go in with some salt. On this side. And when you're frying, you can be a little bit more heavy handed on the salt because some of it's going to drop off in the oil. And you're on the bone side anyway on this side, so all you need is a little bit. And that is it. And just like that, the seasoning is over. All right, so what we're going to do is put this in the fridge for just one hour, chill it up, get our gravy going, and then we're going to meet you guys onto the fryer, so don't go anywhere. All right, we got that turkey seasoned and cut up. Time to show you a quick gravy to go on with this. So here's that neck that we seasoned up, so we're going to need that neck. I got some celery, yellow onion, and bill pepper. Now we're going to make our gravy. Right here we just have some flour, all-purpose flour. Now I judge out how many people come over to how many spoonfuls of this I need. So figure that's one person, two people, three people, and four people. And we'll just say we got an extra guest. That's five. So that's how I judge that out for gravy. Now we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil. And with that we go. And we're just going to mix it. Yes, this is gravy. Now what I find, instead of putting it on the stove and mixing it and getting things lumped up, this is a very, very good trick. And you guys have tried this already in a few other videos. I'm sure you guys really appreciate this. And there it is. And that's our gravy. And that's a good way to judge that gravy out to how many people you have coming over. This way you don't make too much gravy. And there you have it. All right, onto the stove we go. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we started pre-cooking this neck right here, just to get a head start on this. And I just turned it around a couple of times just to brown it up and get that flavor out of here. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now over here we got that nice combination of the onion, celery, the trinity here. I'm just going to get about half of everything in here. But judge it out. Use your own blend. You don't have to put everything in there. I'm going to put that to the side. Just give that a quick shake. And cook that down. And you just want to build that flavor. This is bouillon, so I'm going to add just a little bouillon in there. Just for a little added extra flavor in there. Nice quick gravy. That's why you want to leave your necks and your turkey parts or chicken parts around. This way you have them. For things like this, just a quick gravy. 
just let that cook down. And just sweat the onion out a little bit. And that celery. It won't need to go too far. I'm going to jack the heat up a little bit on here. Now when you have some of that sweated down, I'm going to go in with a little water. Now you don't need chicken stock or beef stock. You could use vegetable if you want, but it really doesn't make a difference. Now I'm going to judge this out because the level of this is going to be your gravy. So I'm going to put all of it in. It's about how much gravy you're going to make. And you can always take more out before you start to put the flour mixture we made in here. You can take some of this water out of here or some of this stock which it's going to make. So that's one turkey neck is all you need. I mean that's going to make a complete stock. I mean more than that you're going to feed an army with that. So that's what you'll do. Bring that to a boil, drop it down on low and let it simmer away until all those strands start to come off that turkey neck and then we'll meet you back here so stick around don't go anywhere all right let's get this in so our oil's heated up so i'm just gonna see where my oil is i'm gonna put it down in there and drop it so i'm gonna get all my dark pieces in first i'm just gonna go from the side again Put them in and just drop them. Now you want to give that time to let all those bubbles get out of there so you can see where you are. Now there's a lot of moisture in there and if you drop too much in at one time it's going to bubble over on you. So you don't want to do that. So now that I got those in there I'm going to drop this big old thigh in there. Start to hit it here. Let it go. I'm going to see where my oil level is. And then I'm going to drop it. And let it calm down. Now this is much safer than using a turkey fryer, I feel. And the flavor here is just beautiful. So now I'm going to actually turn my heat up a little bit because I'm cooling down. Now I'm going to drop my other thigh in. So let's just take our tongs, get this off to the side. Get that drumstick off to the side. And if you want, you don't have to use your hands. If you're very careful, you could just use a big extra long tong. And just drop me in. Now this is a big cast iron I'm using to hold these big pieces. It's a Dutch oven, actually, and this thing is gigantic. So we're going to let these fry up. And we're gonna finish the batch and we'll meet you back when those come out of here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, I'm about 20 minutes in and I'm pulling off these little bony pieces that I have here from the backbone. So I threw those in during the cook. And I'm just gonna take them out when they start to float. So that was the first one. I'm just going to show you this big piece right here. That's the thigh. Now, I still want that more done. It's still not done yet. So when it starts to float, I know it's pretty much done. All that moisture is out of there. Here's a leg. Looking good. About another 10 more minutes with this and I'm going to pull it. 
put in my next batch of my breasts. All right, we'll meet you back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're going in with the wings. I just put one in, so we'll get him in. And we're going in with our breast. Now, I got this oil nice and hot, and when you put these pieces in, it's gonna cool down the oil, so make sure you get it nice and hot when you drag the others out. I'm gonna let it cool down the oil, and then I'm gonna add some more to it when I see those bubbles stop bubbling. Just like that, and now I'm gonna add my breast. There you go. And this is the last piece. We're gonna fry this up, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, time to get these breasts out. I'm gonna show you these guys. Look at that, nice mahogany. Let's just get these in the basket. Now these don't take anywhere near as much time as those big thighs took. But we're gonna get them out so they don't dry out. Let's drain them. And look at our wings, see? These are gonna be the last two in here. I'm gonna let these go a little bit longer. And just get out all of my breast meat. All right, I'm gonna pull these wings in just a little bit, and then we're gonna meet you back inside, so stick around. All right, so our gravy stock is ready. Now I'm just gonna pull these necks out of here. You can see how they're shredding up now. I'm gonna put them to the side here. Now that meat's not going to waste because we will take that meat off of here and get it back into our gravy. We'll just take a fork like that and just get all that meat off of there. Just like that. And back into the gravy we go with it. Now we're gonna do that. But for right now, we're just gonna make the gravy. So the first thing we'll do is whisk. Just to get everything nice and mixed up in there. Just like that. Now this is our gravy we made. So I'm gonna go in with it. Go in with a two big heaping spoonfuls. I'm gonna start to slowly stir. Now this heat's on low by the way. this in and then we're going to just whisk it. Let it cook in and thick it up. Let's see how thick that's getting. And just keep doing this until it gets to the thickness I want and if it's too loose we'll add more of that gravy in there, that paste we made with the flour and the oil. But that's it, that's simple. All right, we're gonna clean off those bones and get all that meat in here and we're gonna meet you back here after we season and taste and make the perfect gravy. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, we're done. Gravy's ready, turkey's all fried up. Let's show you a good old fashioned mashed potato. So I boiled some potatoes down. Actually, they were in my pressure cooker. I pressure cooked them down for about 20 minutes. That's what I got. I stuck some butter in there, let the butter melt. That butter's unsalted. So what we'll do is just go in with some salt, just a pinch. I got four potatoes in here. So I'm gonna say 
that's two, and that's three, just like that. If I were salting those potatoes by themselves, that's how much salt I would use. We're using a blender, we got some whole milk here, and we'll just start punching them down, just like that. Now this is one thing that nobody does anymore. People make potatoes, and they'll just call this mashed potatoes, but nothing beats a nice creamy light fluffy potato with gravy. So we'll get them mashed down. On we go, nice and low. I'm gonna start getting my milk in. Now you guys remember this. to those. Look at that. Nice, light, fluffy, gorgeous. That's it. That's the real deal right there. We're going to plate up. Meet you back here plating up. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right. Here we are. Season three's chopping block fried turkey. Let's show you what we got. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't know, let's pull out a wing. It all looks so delicious. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's go into one of these nice, big, beautiful pies. Look at this. I'm just gonna open this thing up for you like fried chicken. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, how do you go wrong with that? Crispy skin, listen to this. And that's just excellent. Right down to everything. I want to show you this bone. Now, normally I don't dissect my food, but you guys got to see this. Look at this. I'm going to pull it right off the bone. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. I'm going to pull it all off. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. So if you guys aren't frying turkey this way, I highly suggest you do. I've got to eat this one more time. Mm. Time to plate up. All right, so we made some mashed potato. The original mashed potato. This is exactly the way I think everybody's grandmother did it. Let's get some mash on the plate. Boom. 
white, fluffy, and you guys saw it. So we got a little mash there. Just got to get a nice little hole in there for that gravy. Look at that. Beautiful. And we're just going to get some right on top of those mashed potato. Let it just run right down. All right, let's just clean this plate up just a tad. And let's get the star out here. Gotta turn this around. And I think we're gonna choose uh, a breast. Now we had the fried chicken and we never actually put a breast out for you guys. So we're gonna show you what a breast looks like on the plate. And my favorite, a wing. So we're gonna plate this up with a little wing there. Just like that. I'm gonna spin this around one more time. Now I will decorate the top as always. And just put a little piece of parsley right in the top of there. There we go. And we got one more one for you. One more good one for you here. Cranberry. I know it's not Thanksgiving, but I mean, a meal like this, just a little bit of cranberry on the side. I mean, how do you go wrong with that? Here we go. And there you have it. A beautiful fried turkey meal. Mashed potatoes and cranberry with it. All right, we're gonna clean up and we're gonna meet you guys right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. The original Southern Fried Turkey. Cooked in a beautiful cast iron pot. Homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. That's turkey neck gravy too. That brings you back to the past there. Some beautiful fluffy mashed potatoes. Can't go wrong with this meal. It's a full out of your chair meal. And if you like this video and more videos about to come, don't forget to give a like. Hit that bell that's where you get all those notifications first. Thank you. We enjoyed having you. With no further ado, gotta get that little uh, pitmaster taste there.